time? What have you done during the break? What's it allowed you to do? Uh, yeah, look, we all had a, had a few days off. Obviously, it's been a tough year, and um, you know we had four or five five days off after the win against KR, and we got back into work on uh, Thursday and had a couple of good days and had the weekend off, and we've come into a normal uh, preparation this week um, for Leeds. So, um, got our main session done today, and it was it was it was a really really good session, probably one of our better ones for the year. So, I think the boys have gone away and enjoyed their break. They've looked after themselves and. Um, They've come back um, ready to get back to work. How ready are you for what's to come over the next six, seven weeks? Oh uh, yeah, well look, look, it's going to be interesting. I mean, um, you know, we've we've got, um, you know, obviously got six games left. There's a there's a Challenge Cup final in there, so there's another week off there at some stage. So, um, you know, we 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 know um, the job ahead um, starts this week against Leeds. They're coming off a loss. They're going to they're going to be keen to. Um, to make some some inroads on on us, we're only one one win ahead of them at the moment. So, um, look, it's it's a desperate situation every week for us. Um, this week we we play a team just as desperate, so um, we're going to need to be ready. Has the time off allowed anyone to come back into contention fitness wise? Um, yeah, look, look, Joe Joe Wardles, his his hand probably hasn't. Um, come through as good as it, we would have liked. It was, you know, the surgeon's advice was once he got the wire out, he'd be right to go. But it's been out, yeah, a week now, and he's he's not quite right. So, um, you know, we'll probably give him another week to get that right. Um, but you know, going off our um our whole our whole KR game, I'd imagine it'd be pretty similar squad. How far away is Aquila? Yeah, look, he's his ankle's not going so great. Um, he's supposed to be back now. He's had some some um, some issues with it. He's he's gone and had a steroid in it today, so um, we're hoping that fixes it. And um, you know, it's just an ongoing. It's ongoing. I think it's been nine weeks now. It was supposed to be five or six. So um, it's disappointing for Aku. And uh, but hopefully, hopefully we can see some progression there in the next week or two. And have you had a, any clearer prognosis on Dale Ferguson? Nah, no, nah, Fergie was in yesterday, but um, you know he's still got symptoms. Um, still, still got migraines and, and things like that. So, I think he's seen the neurologist, and um, they've got a bit of a plan of action with him there. But yeah, he's he's nowhere near right. Still, Fergie, which is disappointing for him. And you know, I couldn't I couldn't really envisage him being being back into full training anytime soon. He's, it's you know that sort of um, issue you've got to get right, and it might may may take a little bit more time. Are you planning to be without him effectively for the rest of this year? Yeah, look, if he gets back if he gets back this year for a game it'll be a bonus, I think. I mean we do have six or seven weeks left, so you know, he could he could improve over the next couple of weeks, but then you'd expect um, he's gonna have to have a, at least a couple weeks back in training before he's available for selection. So um, we'll just monitor Fergie week to week. At the moment he's not allowed to do anything as far as any exercise, so um, you know it's it's disappointing for him and disappointing for us because you know we were looking forward to him being back in the team and um, you know he get, got back for one game and, and this happens to him so um, he hasn't had a great run Fergie that's for sure. Got to ask you about Aiden Caesar. Is there a deal in the offing? Oh look, we've we've spoken to Aiden. Um, look, he's he's, he's um, obviously a quality player that um, you know, Raiders have, have, have signed George Williams, so there's surplus there as far as their halves concerned, but. Um, yeah, no, it hasn't it hasn't gone too much further than that. I'm not too sure. He's um, you know, he's he's got a wife in Australia that's not really um, she doesn't not too sure if she wants to come overseas. So he's got a lot of family in Sydney. So we're not too sure what's what's happening there. But he's a quality player, and we're we're always on on the lookout and in the market if quality players come up. So um, we'll see where that progresses in the near future. You know him well. Is he someone that could? change the fortunes of this team if you can? Well look he's experienced, he's 28 years old, he's played 150 games, you know, he's a, he kicks goals at over 80% and you know if you look at the Raiders at the moment they're sitting in the top four and playing really good footy and he's been central to that so you know he's got a good running game, he's got a great kicking game, um, he's, he's, he's a great person so um, you know we'll, we'll see where it goes, I mean we've obviously got a, we've got a few halves here at the moment but like I said when quality players like that come up and are interested maybe in coming over, we'll look at it, so we'll, we'll see how that goes in the next couple of weeks. Just got to convince his wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave her behind. <laughs> oh, 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 joking, that. I'm joking. joking. Uh, what about Leeds? Are they any clearer to read than they were at Easter? Well, I hope we read them a bit better than we did at Easter, that's for sure, but um, yeah, no, look, they're, they're, they're like us, they've been inconsistent this year. and 
played some really good footy. They've beaten Cass and, and um, had some good wins along the way. But, um, you know, they've had some disappointing losses too and they, they wouldn't be happy with where they're sitting. You know, they they, they obviously feel um, that they're a lot better team, a lot better club than where they're sitting. They wouldn't be happy with where they're sitting as, as is the case with us. So, um, you know, they're going to look at this week as an opportunity to get back on track. Like I said, they, um, they had a, a poor loss um, against KR and... Um, and we beat KR, so they'll be looking. They'll be looking to turn things around against us. So um, they'll they'll be confident coming here. They'll be thinking they can win like every other team. But um, I I just hope that um, you know the, the the good win against KR and then a little bit of a break. And our training really has been um, top class since we came back. So um, we're back at home. And we've got everything to play for. Are we still in the win at all costs territory at the moment? Yeah, look, I think so. I mean, look, we we look at our next month. Um, you know, we play Leeds. Salford, Hull FC and Cass, so a couple at home, a couple away, so we, we see that month as critical. Um, you know, if we if we can go and get on some sort of run like we did last year, well, who knows where we'll be sitting after a month. Um, you know, we, we there's every chance we could be talking about semi-finals again, or if it goes pear-shaped, we're obviously going to be in, in that area of the table where we don't want to be, so that's the nature of the competition at the moment. We certainly haven't written off our hopes as yet, um, but we know. We need to we need to start stringing some consistency together. It'd be an interesting game for Alex Mello, wouldn't it? Bearing in mind <laughs> it's the first time he'll face the team that we play for next year. Is it something that could fire him up effectively? Yeah, well, you would like to think so. I mean, it's it's a funny one for Alex because um, you know it's it's he's playing against his his club he's going to, who are in a relegation battle. So it's it's a difficult one for him and. Um, I almost offered him the week off if he um, if he felt that would be best, but no, Alex, Alex, you know he's he's you know, his efforts been fantastic. You know since he's decided to leave the club, his his efforts been first class, and you know he's doing a lot of good things off the ball, and he, he can find the trial on Alex, and his D's always improving too. So um, you know he's I'd, I'd imagine he's looking forward to playing this week and and um, showing his his new club uh, what he's capable of. A word on Jermaine three hundredth career appearance this week. What can you say about him that, that loads of coaches before you haven't already said? Yeah, look Jerry's look he's he's a um, special talent, isn't he? He's um, um, you know, anyone anyone who plays three hundred games it's a fantastic achievement and you know most of those games Jerry's played in his his uh, quality games. It's it's his consistency and his his performances that um, that you know that hold Jerry up there. I mean, um, you know, he rarely has a bad game. He's always a seven, six, seven out of ten every week for us. And you know, he finishes off, he finishes off tries nicely. He makes yards out of our own end like about as good as any any winger in the, in any competition. So, you know, we've missed him a few games this year. He hasn't played early on. We missed him, and um, he missed I think he missed the Challenge Cup game against St Helens too. And um, it's certainly. Um, yeah, it's a big loss when Jez isn't isn't out there with the boys. He gets through loads of work. You know, everyone sees the flashy Jez, but um, you know, you know, we we appreciate just as much the stuff he does at the other end. So, um, you know, it's 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 a big um, it's a big milestone for Jez, and he deserves it. He was just saying he's very critical of of himself and his own performances. Do you sometimes have to remind him just how good he is? Um, yeah, no. Look, Jez is he's 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 one of those guys. He's easy to coach, Jez. He, he knows when he do, he's done the wrong thing or he hasn't been up to standard. He puts his hand up, he owns it. So, um, you know, you don't, Jez is someone you don't really need to to remind if he's had a poor performance or he's or he's made a couple of errors because, you know, he puts his hand up, he gets on with it and he makes up for it. So, um, you know, he's certainly certainly easy guy to coach. I'm just finding it was after the last World Cup there was talk about him going down under, etc. That's gone now, isn't it? But... Would he have been a success in the NRL, do you think? Yeah, look, I think so. He, you know, in the NRL, you, you, your wingers are big and strong, and, and you know they 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 rely on, on the wingers in the NRL to do the work coming out of their own end. You know, chew the meters up, and Jez, that's one of Jez's strengths. So you know, he's good under the high ball. Um, you know, he finishes tries off as good as any. So I don't see any reason why he wouldn't have made a good fist of it out there. It was too hot out there for him. Though. It is, yeah. <laughs> well, that's exactly what I was thinking. He wouldn't have liked it. Nah. He wouldn't have enjoyed it.